Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. So the past couple of days, we've been enjoying those 80s and 70s across the area and watching those cold temperatures well off towards the north. Well, unfortunately, kind of as we head into the next couple of days, those cold airs kind of pick up the march. They're going to start to work their way down south in towards our area. And as a result, we'll see those temperatures start to drop and already starting to see that transition. Again, a pretty strong gradient and as you get in towards uh, the Ohio River Valley up in towards the Great Lakes. That's where we saw actually that winter weather really move across the boundary much further towards the north. That has since moved off towards the northeast. Fairly quiet conditions across much of the United States. Here in Texas, though, we have seen some of those high clouds moving in from the south and southwest. That's kind of a uh, opposite feel of where our lower level winds are coming from, more out of the kind of east and northeast. That's been bringing those cooler temperatures in towards our area. As a result, temperatures way into the 60s, 66 degrees right now in downtown San Angelo. Those dew points right now into the low 30s, 31 degrees for our dew point. And the winds out of the northeast right now, 19 miles per hour have been a little bit breezy for the afternoon hours, but once we get past sunset, expect those winds to take a bit of a break. So kind of dying back down into the single digits or at least into the lower teens as you go in towards the evening hours. You see a pretty decent spread of our temperatures as you look across the Concho Valley. Again, seeing that cold air march in from the north into the low 60s right now. Coleman at 60 degrees, 62 in Ballinger. Further south you go, you start to see those temperatures increasing into the mid 60s. Brady and San Angelo here at 66 degrees and 70s further towards the south. So that's where we start to see you know, that difference of who got to 70 further towards the south. Again, they're going to be seeing the cold air later as you go into the overnight hour. So they were allowed to warm up kind of getting to that peak heating. And taking a look at Texas, you can actually see a pretty decent spread. Some 80s further towards the south, 70s in San Antonio, 66 here in San Angelo, and 45 up in Wichita Falls, 41 degrees in towards Amarillo. So again, seeing those temperatures cool off the further north you go, that will be working its way in towards our area as you go through the overnight hours. As a result, next 12 hours, we'll see those temperatures. First, the initial drop in those temperatures once we get past sunset, back down into the 50s. But as you go into the overnight hours, that's when you see more of that cool air reinforced by that cold front. We'll see those temperatures drop down into the low 40s to mid 40s across the area. And with it, we'll see some increase in that cloud coverage. You know, we'll be looking at mostly clear skies, but increasing clouds for us tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies, much cooler, only reaching into the mid 50s. So again, uh, very similar to what we were already warmer than what we expect to be for tomorrow. Rain chances fairly isolated, about a 10% chance, though our better rain chances really start to pick up as we get into our late Sunday. That's where we see our next frontal system make its arrival. The temperatures will be, struggle to get into the 50s for us on Saturday and then slowly start to kind of warm up getting in towards or towards the uh, 60s for us on Saturday. So we'll see a slight warm up as those winds kind of kick up out of the south. And that's going to start to warm things up going in towards Sunday. So that's where we start to see those temperatures get into the 60s. Sunday, we actually reach up into the 80s with those winds out of the south before that next frontal system moves through. Then we go back and forth, bouncing between the 70s and 80s through next week.